What's good YouTube? I am back with another video and in this video I'm going to be discussing three moves I think Chris Ballard and the Indianapolis coach should make to improve their team. Before we get started, hit that like and subscribe buttons down below. Also, hit that notification bell so you could be notified when I drop another video. Okay, um, so everybody knows the Indianapolis Colts, my team, you know, I have to go with my Colts. They recently traded for Carson Wentz. Now, the trade hasn't been officially announced yet because the new league year hasn't started. That starts March 9th. And um, they traded from, they happened to make this trade because uh, there was no other way to go. There was no other place to go. Philip Rivers retri retired, and it, it would have cost Ballard a lot more to trade up to get like a Justin Fields or a Zach Wilson or anyone like that. It probably would have cost, actually, I know for a fact it would have cost him two first rounders and possibly uh, another uh, another couple of picks, you know, probably one or two more picks. But um, they have to make this trade. So what they end up giving up is a second round pick, excuse me, a third round pick for this year and a second round pick for next year. The second round pick, that could turn into a first round pick if Carson Wentz plays 75% of his snaps. So if he basically goes out and ball, if he goes out there, balls out, Eagles get that first round pick. So, you know, I, I think this was a great deal for Ballard because he, he Ballard does not overpay for anything. That's one thing I say about Chris Ballard. That's why he's the best GM in football. He's not going to go out and spend $18, 20000000 million on a um, pass rusher or anything like that. He's, he's going to... He's going to look at it, all his options before he makes a move. And he, he looked at all his, his options, and there was a no other quarterback that I think would have fit into this scheme, this offensive scheme, other than Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz, man, in 2017, we think we thought he was going to be a top five. He was a top five quarterback in 2017. And then he got injured, and, and last year, man, he really – I think the Carson Wentz you saw last year, he, that wasn't the Carson Wentz of this year. I think Frank is going to turn this guy into a top five quarterback. I, I, I really do. Um, so uh, let's um, get started because I, I think let's let's go to what I, I think could help Carson Wentz in, in this team. This team needs to take the next step. They need to make a deep playoff run, one and done in the playoffs. It's not. Colts fans, we we we're tired of seeing that. It's time to get. It's time to make a deep playoff run and possibly go to the Super Bowl. Okay, so three moves I think the coach should make to approve their team. One, sign Trent Williams. The 49ers, they can't tag him. They cannot. They just cannot tag him because they gave him more guaranteed money. So that. That proves that they cannot tag him. And his agent, him and his agent said no tag. So uh, they can, they cannot tag him, tag him. So he's out the door. So sign Trent Williams. And I'm I'm a little surprised when I've seen Trent Williams, his his like pro statistics or his career statistics. It's appalling that this guy hasn't gotten multiple all pros. I mean, he's that good of a tackle. Okay, and tackle, left tackle is the most important position on the offensive line, in my opinion, because it protects the blind side of the quarterback, you know, and, and Anthony Casanzo retiring, man, that just, I knew he was going to retire, but I didn't think, I think he was going to come back one more season, I didn't think he was going to retire this season, but that just threw me off, uh, Anthony Casanzo has been the most underrated left tackle in the NFL, um, for the past, since he's been in the league, okay, and he's he's going to be missed, but we can uh, fill that void by signing Trent Williams. Now, Trent Williams, I mean, this guy, he's, um, like I said, he's, he, he like, 
he had that cancer scare, and he's just a bull on the left tackle. Put him next to Quentin Nelson, Ryan Kelly. You got Gawinski, you got Brandon Smith, who I also think is underrated, who should have made the Pro Bowl this season, or excuse me, last season. But that's another discussion. But I think you you now can go from a like a top three offensive line. You go. You become the best offensive line. You you become the best offensive line, and I know. And he's gonna make. Uh, he's gonna make all those. He's gonna make especially Golinski. Golinski is the only one that I really worry about. But Go, even Golinski has played really solid. But I feel Golinski. He he can do a lot more. And he's Terry Williams is gonna make make that offensive line. The best in football, in my opinion. I mean, we had a top two, three offensive line last season, but it, it, it's going to be the best when when we add Trent Williams and Trent Williams. His market value, they say he's going to make anywhere. From, he's he's projected to make anywhere from eighteen million to twenty million. So. How about just give him a, a, a three-year contract at 18 million per season? Give give him an 18 uh, 18 million dollar contract per season. I mean, you you can't go, you can't. I mean, and he's I think he's like 32 or something like that, and he's going to like I said, he's it's him, then it's Andrew Ven Ven Lueva, and it's everybody else. So uh, they can't take him in, in left tackle. Is the most after we got Carson Wentz, left tackle is is the, now is the most important position because we need to protect Carson Wentz. We need to. So uh, he his offensive line in Philly was a mess. They had like multiple personnel in and out, and it's it's just not. Uh uh. Just, we had need. Uh, Ballard preaches st stability, okay, and continuity. Continuity. So that's what we have to do with Carson Wentz. We have to protect him. So I'm giving him a 18 million dollar a year. So I'm giving him a three year contract worth 54 million dollars. So 18 million per, you know. And if he plays that out that three years, he plays that because I don't think he. Yeah, I'm not sure. That's the only way I, that I'm sure. Excuse me. The only, um, I believe, the only reason he was out, missed all that time in Washington, because he was for his cancer scare. But I don't think he's ever missed like a um, game for like like a re, uh, injury, like a like a broken leg or something like that. I'm not for sure, but he he's a bull horse. I mean, he played solid last season and. And I know the tackle position. Excuse me. I know the tackle class in the um, draft is is loaded, but I mean you can sign Trent Williams and still draft a Walker Little or somebody like that. Um, Walker Little, I think Walker Little has a chance to be the best tackle in his draft class, but he just needs some season. He just needs some, you know, time. And he sat out 2020, and yes, he, he just needs to get. So I'm I'm all, all for drafting Walker Little, man. But yeah, give Trent Williams a, a three-year, 54 million dollar contract, and the Colts is projected to have. Actually, we do have like. Forty-three million dollars in cap space, so you you sign him, and, and then the other guy I was looking at is Carl Lawson from um, the Cincinnati Bengals. He's under, he's super underrated. And people all say only oh, had only had six sacks. Um, sacks is not the only thing that you look at when you're analyzing a defensive end. You look at pressures. You look at quarterback hits. You look at, uh, like, fumbles. If he gets strip sacks, not necessarily a sack, but a strip sack. Uh, this guy was, this guy had a 77 point, I think, 9 PFF rating on PFF. I mean, he's a, 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 a underrated, and he's just 20, I think he's just like 25, he's just uh, scratching the surface of what he can do, man, and if he is he if he comes into evil fool scheme, uh, um, he can, that six sacks can easily turn into 11, 12 sacks, he has the capability to have 12 sacks a season, and 
I, I look at people say Yannick and Gakwe. Yannick had a chance to come to Indy like he had a chance to come to the Colts last season. He didn't do it. So, and Carl Lawson, uh, excuse me, yeah, Carl Lawson, I think you can get him for at least like $8 million a year, something like that. I mean, he's not going to cost you too much money. You know, he's really not going to cost you that much money. Um, He's he's really going to cost, uh, like, I, I say, or not eight million. I say about ten million, probably ten million, not eight million. Um, so I'm I'm gonna give him a three year, thirty million dollar contract, and see if if that'll make him happy. And, and that's you know, matter of fact, I might even make it a four year, forty million dollar contract. Matter of fact, yeah, I'm gonna give him four years, forty million, cause make him hit his free agency at age twenty nine. So. I'm gonna give him a four-year contract worth ten million a year, forty million dollars, and I'm gonna say about I say thirty-five million dollars guaranteed. Um, so the, the Trent Williams contract I had at three years, fifty-four million. That's the contract that I'm giving Trent Williams at least forty million guaranteed. Okay, so you got um, Carl, yeah. Carl Lawson, I, I was about to say, boy, I was thinking of Shaq Lawson. I said Carl Lawson, Carl Lawson, and you've got Trent Williams. You've got your defensive end, and you've got your um, left tackle. Now, I'm going to cut Jack Doyle. I know I'm going to get a lot of flack for this, but I'm going to cut Jack Doyle simply because I want to save some money over the cap. Cutting this guy can save, I think, $4 million a cap if, if they find a trade partner. Um they can save around that much money as well. Um, I don't know uh, what kind of draft compensation he would get back, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's probably going to be a fifth or sixth round draft pick. Um, probably not even a fifth, probably a sixth round draft pick. Um, I, that's why I'm just going to release him. That's going to save me $4 million on the cap. Now, I'm going to sign Hunter, Hunter Henry um, because I, I don't think the Chargers are going to tag them. They, they might, and may, I mean, they might even tag. Uh, Bengals might even tag tag Lawson, but I'm gonna get Hunter Henry because Carson Wentz needs all the weapons, and I'm not paying. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get a lot of flack for or not going after Allen Robinson or or Kenny Galladay or Chris Godwin. Those guys are expected to get tagged. I mean, especially I, I think all three of them could possibly get tagged. Okay, then you got the. They, I mean, they still can get traded, but you're gonna be. They're they're gonna ask for big compensation, and I'm I'm not willing to do that. I'm, I'm I can get. There's this free agent right. Excuse me. This draft class in the um in the um draft. This draft class is really good. This wide receiver draft class. I can get like a Dwayne Estridge out of Western Michigan in the later rounds or Nico Collins out of Michigan in the later rounds. So I'm, I'm not going that free agent route on um, on a wide receiver. Um, so let's give Hunter Henry is like 8.8 .8 million, I think his annual projected value is. So let's give him an $8.8 .8 million contract. Matter of fact, let's boost it up to 9 million a season um, for like, uh, four years. So let's give him a four year, $36 million contract. And that $36 million contract is going to have about, I think I'm going to give him 30, excuse me, I'm about to give him like $27 million guaranteed. Um, because of his injury history, I'm, I'm not going to give him a lot of guaranteed money. I mean, 27 million guaranteed is a lot of money, but Oh, what the hell? $30 million community. I, I believe this guy is going to stay healthy. Like, I'm, uh, he's, I think his injury history, injury problems are behind him. He can easily be a top two or three wide receiver in the league if he stays healthy on the field. And I want to see him get more. And he's going to be a great red zone target for Carson Wentz. So Carson Wentz, when he was good, he had Zach Ertz. <laughs> Like catching, like most, I think probably about 50 60 percent of his passes. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do because now they might tag him. 
uh, the Chargers might tag him, they might not, but I'm going after him. So those are my three um, um, uh, free free agents that I'm gonna think that I think that Chris Ballard should pursue. As far as in-house free agents, the only three that I think we should bring back uh, is um, Danico Archery. Um, we got to bring Danico Archery back. Um, who else? Oh, Xavier Rhodes is a must, okay? And Anthony Walker. Those are the only three I think Ballard should bring back. I don't think he should bring back T.Y. because he's he's too old and he's uh, he's like on the decline and stuff like that. And and he posted a, 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 a tweet like the other day saying that he's ghost or something like that. He said something like, Whatever the future holds, he's ready to work because he's uncertain if he's going to come back. Marlon Mack is gone. Um, Jacoby Brissett is gone. Uh, Justin Houston, I, we appreciate what you did those couple of seasons you were with us. Goodbye. Um, Trey Byrne, no. no. Um, we, so Mo Alley Cox is the only tight end uh, we would have on the roster other than um, – when we sign Hunter Henry, I think we can get another tight end in um, later rounds, like or see if we can get an unrestricted, um, excuse me, an undrafted tight end. But um, yeah, like if I so Hunter Henry, I think Mo Alley Cox uh, should ball out with Wentz. So uh, Eberfus likes to have a lot of two tight. Excuse me, not Eberfus. Frank Reich, and, and, you know, he likes a lot of two tight end sets, and Marcus Brady, two tight end sets. So, yeah, so that that's what I think is going to happen. So three, so those three that I mentioned, um, bring in Carl Lawson, Trent Williams, and him, Hunter Henry, and bring back Danico Autry, Anthony Walker, and Xavier Rhodes. That's it, guys. So I'm going to make, I'm going to be live streaming a draft later on today. So be on the lookout for that. A Colts mock draft that I've been coming up with. And I'm going to use um, the Drafts Network simulator to simulate the draft. But I have to um, set everything up for that. Um, I've got a lot of other videos coming, so be on the lookout for that. And like I said, stay safe. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see y'all on the next video. Once again, thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching my videos. I really appreciate y'all. Uh, stay safe. Have a great day. Peace.